Hey, this is Jennifer at Platinum Skincare, and today I want to take a few moments to talk about melasma. And melasma is hyperpigmentation, but at its core, it's caused by hormones. So that makes it a little bit trickier to treat because we can't really change our hormones, especially for women. If you've ever dealt with being on birth control, had a baby, if you're on hormonal therapy, things of that nature, you run a really high risk of having melasma. And you'll know if you have melasma because you have blotchy dark areas on your face predominantly. Cheekbones, on your forehead, upper lip, those are really common spots to have it. You'll notice kind of jagged edges, but very evenly placed. I know your big question is, is this curable? Can I just do a couple of peels? Or a treatment here or there and have it be gone, have my beautiful skin again. I want to tell you, yes, I really, really do. But the answer is no. Once you have it, you have it, you're going to have it forever. And what we need to do is we need to manage it. The first thing you can do to manage it is stay out of the sun. And if you have to go in the sun, which we all do, we all want to. Hey, I want to hang out by the pool too. But what you have to do is you have to use sunblock. And you have to use sunblock that's at least an SPF of 50 right here, flawless SPF 50. I love this one. It is tinted. There's an extra benefit to using a tinted sunblock as well. So always try to get a tinted sunblock and don't just rely on your sunblock. Make sure, big hat, I should've brought my hat. Big hat, cover, shade yourself. Make sure you are covered from the sun entirely. So. Do that. Also, watch the heat. If you're really hot, get a little mister, fan, air conditioning, do whatever you can. If you're exercising, those little misters are great. Cool compress, inflammation, things like that. Stay away from inflammation, stay away from heat. You know what the real problem is? Sometimes there's nothing. Sometimes you did nothing at all and you just wake up one day and you have some on your face and that's just the breaks. What can we do? We need to use our daily treatments to help manage this. And one of the most important things is using a melanin inhibitor. So there are a lot of melanin inhibitors out there. There's things like hydroquinone, but the problem with hydroquinone is that is a prescription only. It's got some contraindications. And so what they came up with that's really amazing and what we love to use is alpha arbutin. What that is, is it's a derivative of hydroquinone. And instead of having all those negative connotations, your skin's not going to darken. It's something that you can use during pregnancy very safely. You are going to find that in our Fade Bright. So this is something that you can use every single day. You can use it morning. You can use it evening. This is going to help to turn down the melanin production in your skin. So if we've turned down the melanin production, that's the color in your skin, you're less likely to get hyperpigmentation. And there are a lot of ingredients that help to turn down the color in your skin. Now we've got alpha arbutin in here. We've got azelaic acid. That's another wonderful one to turn on the color. Kojic acid, resveratrol. This is the queen of melanin inhibition. Use this one to two times per day, every single day. Use your melanin inhibitors. Another great product to use that's going to help control your Melasma is retinoids. Okay, so this is our Fusion A. This is a combination of retinoids. We have Grinactive Retinoid, Retinaldehyde, Retinol. Use something like this every single night. Get your skin turning over quickly, quickly, quickly. Get that pigmentation off turning over, turning over, turning over. Then we will get rid of that. So we're turning off the melanin production and then we're getting rid of the discoloration. There are also other things that you can use like vitamin C. Now vitamin C is known to be a lightener and a brightener of the skin. I have found that when I use vitamin C, especially in the summertime, I find that this really helps me with my melasma. Just a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit, like a half a pea size. Add it into my regimen in the morning. I love Love this. I actually like to mix this with our nano hyaluronic because it uh, makes it really slippery and slidable and it goes a really long way. So I love to mix in something like vitamin C. So you've got a melanin inhibitor, a retinoid, and an antioxidant like vitamin C. Something like this every single day is going to help control your melasma. You also have things like chemical peels. You can do a chemical peel with a very mild acid on like a weekly basis. So there's a couple of options that are 
are really good for pigmentation. My very, very favorite is Mandelic. So this is our Mandelic 40%. This is something that you can do one time per week, or sometimes people like to do this one time every other week. The reason I suggest that is because you can do all your wonderful treatments here one week, then you do your peel the next week, and then use gentle healing products like Reikimo oil. Use something like calming and healing along with your peel, and then use your treatments the next week. Another great acid to use that's good with lightening and brightening is lactic acid. Lactic acid is also well known to help control. And now let's say you want to do something that's a little bit stronger. You've tried things like this, they're working pretty good, but you feel like I really need a stronger peel. Well, then I want you to reach for something like Jesner. You could pronounce it Jesner after Dr. Jesner that actually created this peel, but most people like to call this Jesner, sorry. A little bit of extra info for you. Okay, so you want to do this Jesner. What this is, is this is a combination of lactic, which we just talked about, salicylic, and resorcinol. And what resorcinol is, is a skin lightener as well. So this works really, really well. And you know how I talked about inflammation and staying away from inflammation? Well, salicylic is an anti-inflammatory, so that really helps with this. Lactic is also a low anti-inflammatory. And resorcinol and all is that melanin inhibitor. So even though this is a stronger peel, it's not super high on the inflammation scale. So this is another great one to reach for. Now, I know your question is how long is it gonna be before I see some results, darn it? Well, if you're just using our daily products here, daily products, you are gonna see results pretty quickly. Within a couple of weeks, you're gonna start to see something. You know what I mean? So two weeks, three weeks, you're gonna notice a little bit of lightening. It's gonna take three months or so before there are substantial changes in your skin. And how are you really gonna know that? Do you think that you can look in the mirror and say, oh yeah, yeah, I, I really see a difference between day three and day 12? No, you're not gonna notice that. What you need to do is take a picture. I'm telling you right now, take a picture the day you started when you're ready to do your treatments. Take a picture on day one, take a picture on day 30, take a picture on day 60, take a picture, just keep going, just keep going. You know, I don't need to keep going with the dates. Take a picture as you go and you're gonna put side by side, by side by side, and you are gonna be amazed at how quickly things turn around and you're gonna be like, holy moly moly, this stuff works. And just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep using your daily products Keep putting that SPF on, keep wearing that big gorgeous hat, looking like a movie star. People are gonna be looking at you and they're gonna be jealous at how gorgeous your skin is. And you're gonna tell them, oh, I have such bad melasma. And they're gonna be like, what? You look like you're 25 and you're 50. That's what people tell me. <laughs> have a good one and come back. I'll be here giving you some more tips and hints for all your skincare disasters. All right, <laughs> have a wonderful day. Bye.